hey welcome back guys so in this video I'll be talking about react portals and how we can use them so we'll be using react portals to build our tooltip library but before that let's look into what portals actually are so I have opened up the react documentation here and they mentioned that portals provide a first-class way to render children into a DOM node that exists outside the DOM hierarchy of the parent component and how we do that is using react dom dot create portal method and we pass in a child uh, which can be jsx in our case and then we pass in the container so container here is a dom element actually so instead of uh, regularly uh, returning a jsx uh, like we do here uh, what we actually have to do now is do a return react dom dot create portal class uh, portal call and pass in the children and the DOM node. So let's look into the tooltip component which we have here. And I have opened up my browser dev tools here. And this is our tooltip component deep inside the DOM tree here. And as we can see, like uh, it's getting re rendered inside uh, some levels of nesting here. And what React portals will allow us to do is kind of take our component out of here and render it in a different place in the DOM tree. So what we want to do is uh, take this out of this div, this div uh, with a root ID and put it right beside here. So that will give us a lot of styling flexibilities and we will be able to position our tooltip much in a much more better way. And one more thing to note is that even though React portals will change the place where the component gets uh, rendered in the DOM, it will still be rendered at the same place in the React tree. So that means that uh, we can pass in our props in, the, in a similar way that we pass into normal components and it can also use context in the same way. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.